Welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I'm Sirbi Sardana and this is Season 3 of our Daily Answer Writing Initiative. This initiative is running in coordination with our website. As you can see, rajaisacademy.com. This is the screenshot of our website. Here in the Mains Answer Writing section, if you click, you will see the list of all updated questions and answers that we have discussed on Seize the Mains till date. You can refer to today's question also. That is question 132 on our website. Read out the entire model answer after watching this discussion. Read it out at least twice or thrice. Then start writing your own answer. Post your answers in the comment section below each and every question that is present on the website. Create a create an ID there or log in through Gmail or the Discuss platform and post your answers in the form of pictures. Take the screenshots of your answers or take pictures of your answers and post them on your website or on our website or just type them in the comment section. Our team will evaluate your answers in the next 48 hours and respond uh, back to you with their feedback, how to improve, how to get better marks, entirely free of cost. So join this initiative, practice answer writing because this is the only thing that will help you score more marks in mains as compared to the other candidates. And again, this is the key factor that will decide whether you will make it to the final list or not. So commissionary system of police, that is the topic for today. Let's see what is the question. The question is briefly describe the police commissionerate system. What are its benefits? Discuss the concerns associated with it. Answer in 150 words. See, the question is very simple. Unlike um, yes, uh, unlike Saturday, there we discussed a very complicated question. This question is very simple. The uh, you know whatever you have to answer in the question as has been given to you, right and plate. The problem with this question is that there are many parts to it, but the answer has to be only in 150 words. The second problem is that this is a very uh, typically prelims based question. So you need to be aware of the facts also regarding the commissioner aid system. So even if in your polity books, police administration is not covered very much directly, but uh, you know, definitely cover police commissioner aid system and dual system of police because that comes under you know, policies of government or government agencies and how government functions in the country. So that is, uh, you know, part of your GS paper too. definitely cover it, definitely cover police reforms. Also the procrastinating committee recommendations, any law commission reports with regards to proper policing in the country. So uh, let's see how do we address this question for today. Briefly describe the police, com police commissioner aid system. So the first part is entirely based on your knowledge. If you know what police commissioner aid system is, which you will in a while, then it is very easy for you, very simple for you to answer this part. What are its benefits? Again, at least three to four or at least three benefits are expected here. Just remember the answer is in 150 words. So the examiner does not expect you to write eight to 10 benefits. Also, when you mains mein koi bhi questions aate hai, aap dekhenge, jo analysis wale questions, hote hai, jo analysis wala part hote hai, they carry more marks. And the positive part or the benefits of something uh, that has been already in operation, they carry less mark because this is static. Commissionerate system of policing has been uh, present for a while now and we all understand its benefits. So, the benefits wala part is that we will keep short rakhenge because if there is a new scheme, aati hai, if there is some new scheme of the government regarding environment or new policy of the government and benefits of that or significance of that scheme have been asked, that means your analytical powers are being tested. There the answer has to be long. But if some benefits of something that has already been present for a while, that is asked again for 150 words only, then this is just a small part of the answer, but do not skip this part because again, this is part of the question. Discuss the concerns associated with it. See again, uh, Uttar Pradesh is trying to implement the commissioner aid system in more of its cities as compared to previous, uh, previously it had in like two, three cities only. Now it is coming up with and with commissioner aid system of policing in many cities for uh, Agra, Prayagraj and other cities also. So what are the concerns? Concerns talk about your analytical capacity. Ki koi cheez agar itni prevalent, itni popular ho rahi hai, to uske kuch nuksan bhi ho sakte hai. There can be downside to it also, which might not be written in the newspaper articles or which might not be very popular as an article. So this is uh, where UPSC will test you. So this part has to be a little intelligent. 
intelligent and more descriptive than the benefits part. I hope uh, the breakage of the question is clear. As usual, we'll start by writing an introduction. 150 words ka answer hai, to introduction do se teen lines ke beech rahegi. Not more than that, not more than three lines at any cost. And again, since the first part asks you to describe the police commissionerate system, we'll start by talking about the police commissionerate system. And after two, three lines of introduction, we'll start talking about its features or what the police commissionerate system is. So your introduction and the body paragraph one they will be squeezed into just one part just like here you have the introduction then you have the body paragraph one regarding features of commissionerate system then you have the benefits of commissionerate system just two three benefits are there and about the concerns four concerns are there and very valid concerns are there and then we have a conclusion paragraph very creative here we've mentioned a committee also and uh, let's start with talking about the police commissionerate system. So in the arrangement of police that is you know commonly seen uh, police force at the district level a dual system of control exists. So there is dual system of policing in which SP or superintendent of police has to work with the district magistrate for supervising police and administration and this has been continued since the Brit uh, times of Britishers since colonial times because revenue jo hota tha, jo land se aata tha, that was an important part of it. So this has followed there that the district manage, manage magistrate and superintendent of police they uh, work in tandem. In the commissionerate system, however, the commissioner of police is the head for a unified police command structure and does not report to the DM. So here, by using a, by using a comparison in your introduction, you've made very clear what the commissionerate system is. Now elaborate it a bit. Almost all states have a commissionerate system, especially at the metropolitan level. So this is not something very new that we are coming up with. Almost all states have it in some or the other districts, especially at the metropolitan level. That indicates that commissionerate system is good for bigger areas or bigger cities. Recently, UP government approved the commissionerate system of policing for more cities in the state. Now this is an example from, from current affairs, definitely mention it in your answer because polity ka answer is static part ka answer. Hai. Either use it in your introduction or write it in your conclusion but definitely mention it so that the examiner role knows that you are well read. Now we will talk about some features in just two lines that a deputy inspector general of police rank, uh, DIG rank or above officer is appointed as commissioner of police. He is assisted by special commissioner, joint commissioner, additional commissioner and deputy commissioner. The CP or the commissioner of police directly reports to the government, not to the district magistrate. Now what are the powers? The commissioner of police is responsible for the force in the city, accountable to the state government. The office also has magisterial powers which were earlier with DM in dual system of control, including those related to regulation, control and licensing so this is very important what you can do is aap isi paragraph ke baad ek aur paragraph likh sakte hai jisme aap ye features likhe but again the more segregated and the more spacious your answer is the easier it is for examiner to read and mark you highly then uh, coming to the benefits what are the benefits of commissionerate system of police the first one is as the commissioner does not report to the dm example in case of mumbai and delhi he directly reports to the government it is supposed to allow for faster decision making kyunki jo ek uh, rule making authority hai jo ek reporting authority hai wo wahan se nikal gayi hai so integrated uh, command structure bhi aa jata hai which helps the police handle changing dynamism and growing complexities of security threats for example big cities like uh, you know delhi mumbai noida lucknow so the security threats especially in times of social media these ott platforms and usage of mobile phones and internet security threats jo hai, they're changing there is a dynamism in the security threats that we see a lot of cyber attacks we see on a daily basis in uh, many agencies to bahut hi dynamic security threats hai. so it is very you know cumbersome to report to two agencies or for two agencies to work closely the police and the civil administration so in bigger cities it uh, results into integrated command structure and uh, glowing complex uh, growing complex uh, uh, complexities of security threats that can be handled it solves the issue of lack of understanding between police and civil administration 
it helps fix responsibility with the commissioner and eliminates blame game between civil administration and police when something goes wrong so blame game is always there and the solutions cannot be resorted to so fixing the responsibility with the commissioner that comes the entire responsibilities on the commissioner and there is no one to blame now the blame game gets ended here so again bahut hi broad se benefits hai it should take like less than 50 words of your answer not more than that then uh, the concerns associated what are the issues associated issues like delegation of authority and better integration delegation of authority kaise karni hai kitna powers dena hai kisko report karna hai so these are the issues that come up then it leads to immense power in the hands of police which already lacks public confidence public has a fear of police in many areas thanks to the colonial uh, type of policing that goes on in some places then you have civil administrative officials they are very much connected to the public so people are very comfortable reporting their cases to them or talking about their concerns to them and uh, you know uh, they, that uh, creates a balance in the society that also so this system works better only in the states where the literacy ratio is higher and people have wide knowledge about their laws about the laws and the fundamental rights so in poor areas or uh, where literacy levels are very low this system is not seen to be very successful because of the absence of civil administration which acts as a bridge now uh, see you have defined it you have explained features of it you've talked about benefits of it you've talked about the downside or the concerns associated with it now what is left to talk about the le- uh, what is left to talk about is uh, what should you do as a country agar aap ek country hai to aap kya implement karenge the dual system of policing or the or the commissionerate system so yes uh, you cannot give direct suggestions all the time aap hamesha direct suggestions nahi de sakte aap orderly statements nahi likh sakte hain apne paper mein especially conclusions mein but you can definitely quote some committee especially when it comes to police or army if there are any you know loopholes that you want to suggest quote a committee or a famous personality that will help you and a pers- the personality should not be very much anti state so that can go against your answer various committees constituted to suggest police reforms have recommended so now you have given the responsibility of this conclusion on the committees they have recommended implementation of a police commissioner system in cities which have witnessed rapid urbanization and have a population more than 10 lakhs so this is a fact that you have written and this is the fact comes with authorization so very apt uh, way to end your answer according to mr prakash singh see uh, mr prakash singh has been dgp of many states uh, also he has led a committee on police reforms whenever we talk about police reforms in our country the name of mr prakash singh is always talked about definitely mention his name in your answers and underline the name or underline the suggestion or viewpoint that he has given because that carries a very intellectual intellectual background with it so he says that how well policing improves depends on the leadership the government gives it gives to a commissionerate commissionerate system only gives police an enabling environment to delivering policing in a complex region ultimately the officer in charge and the culture he ushers matter in dealing with the above mentioned concerns so you've talked about the concerns also how to address them they say that it men, uh, it uh, you know differentiates from officer to officer also the government has a larger larger role to play to aap seedhe seedhe bhi likh sakte the the government has a major role to play here in the success or the failure of the system also the individual officer has a major role to play but also we have hi- we wanted to highlight his name we also hi- wanted to highlight some committees so we have used this kind of statement so this is your entire answer for the day the entire answer has been uploaded as the model answer on our website rajayesacademy.com click on the link in the description go to our website read it out and then post your answers send your answers to us as soon as possible so that we can respond back to you in time also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already we keep coming up with new initiatives to help you in your civil services journey stay tuned to the channel Keep working hard all the best to you and I'll see you with another discussion tomorrow at 9 pm in Seize the Mains